Hey guys, it's Justin from Justin's HIV Journal, and I'm back. It's been a while since I've vlogged. I know, but I've had a lot of things going on. This master's degree is kicking my ass. So, but without further ado, as from good news on the forefront of HIV. So, the, according to the Washington Post, um, the World Health Organization, or WHO, has said that there's an estimated 35 million people around the world who have HIV, and about 1.1 million of those people uh, live in the United States and some of them don't even know, many of them don't even know that they have HIV. But since 2008-2012, that is, I mean, sorry, they, they've actually recorded that it's been a, there's been a decrease in rates around the world in all groups, men, women, whites, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, uh, Asians, but, uh, and, and intravenous drug users, but there's one group that still has an issue with HIV with infections, and that is men who have sex with men or gay bisexual men. So, all those groups have been, have seen decreased numbers in HIV, but except for gay and bisexual men, young men. In 2006, the CDC said that uh, was say, saying that pushing testing because it should be tested just like people go in and get tested for cholesterol. It should be tested for anything. Like, you know, when you go in for your regular checkup, that should be regular checkup. So they're pushing for doctors to do that for people with ages 13 through, I believe, 64. And so, yeah, 13 to 64. And so by doing that, they found out that 37% um, from 2000, from the year 2000, to, uh, they ended up testing 45% higher. Um, than to th in 2000 and in 2010. So from 2000, they had 37% of people tested, which upped um, in 2010 to 45. So that's really good. So then um, they also said that 24 out of 100,000 people tested positive in 2000. Now that is a really that is you know really high. But now they're saying that it's it was it's 16 out of 100,000 people in 2011 who tested positive. So Despite you know increasing testing, usually when you increase HIV testing, you usually the finding is that you found more you find more people that are HIV positive. So even when they increase testing, a decline of HIV happen and HIV infections happen. So this is a good thing, but that was on the global spectrum. So now let's think DC because this is where I live. I live in the DC area. So according to the Epidemiology and Surveillance uh, Report in 2014. Um, all in all, the cases in D.C. in 2008 were about 1,180. Uh, and in 2012, that um, was 680. So it went from, it's a 42% drop um, in four years. So, you know, D.C. is actually doing really, really well. And also in the MSM community here in D.C., those infection rates declined as well. So um, that is actually pretty good in this area. Um, there are no confirmed babies born with HIV in the D.C. area, <clears throat> as a surveillance report. So, and uh, according to um, the, the Epidemiology and Surveillance Report, uh, in 2000, let me see, there's, the MSM uh, infections were, in 2008, there were 443 confirmed cases um, that were reported. Now, you know, of course, there are probably unreported cases as well, but, you know, that's because people don't want to get tested or refuse to get tested. But in 2012, it was 313 cases. So that is a 29% drop um, since in four years' time. So that's really good in the area, in the, in the D.C. area for MSMs or men who have sex with men. Um, so in the heterosexual, um, there was a 36% drop, I believe. And it was, let me see... 30, 335 confirmed heterosexual contracted HIV, heterosexual contracted HIV in the year 2008, and then 2012 was 215, so that's pretty good, that's a 36% drop. IDUs, IDUs, which are intravenous drug users, um, a huge drop, it was an 80% drop um, for, in four years. Now that is directly contributed to needle exchange programs. Um, I believe in needle exchange programs because, you know, as far as risk reduction, um, harm reduction, we need those programs. 
um, you can't stop somebody if they're going to do what they want to do. You can't really stop them. So here's the things that you might want to use to be able to prevent the spread of HIV when you're doing what you're doing. Um, so that's all. I mean, that, that came out from the Washington Post. Uh, I believe that came out yesterday uh, on Sunday. I forgot my date what that was. I think it was on the 20th. But um, <laughs> so so all in all, um, HIV infections are decreasing in the United in the in the DC area, but around the world globally, MSMs or men who have sex with men, gay and bisexual men, are having the most problems with HIV. So all in all, this is why we do what we do. All the HIV gay activists as well. This is why one of the reasons why we do what we do, because we realize when we understand that our population is having the most trouble getting those numbers down and getting to zero. So um, all in all, I just want to say thank you guys for listening and I hope I didn't hit you over the head with too many statistics, but um, it's something that we all need to know and it's something that I believe that we all should be informed about. So have a good week.